Hey, Phantomaniacs, welcome back to Dark Order Week here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Today we are taking a look at Stu Grayson, member of the Dark Order, a part of AEW Unmatched Series 3, which is a Dark Order themed wave. Uh, you can go and check out reviews from the past three days, and we will have one more review tomorrow where I will give away all five packs of upper deck trading cards that came with these figures. Uh, so be sure to check back tomorrow and find out how you could win. But right now, I'm going to win by opening this figure up. Uh, this is Stu Grayson as he appeared on February 3rd, 2021, uh, about a year ago. So that's pretty wild. Uh, in Jacksonville, Florida, a dynamite beach break. And very God of War inspired gear here, which, you know, I like uh, one of my favorite video games of all time. Uh, so I, I had to like this figure, regardless of it being part of the Dark Order wave or not, uh, I was going to be getting. But the fact that he's in the Dark Order is just a, a pleasant bonus because I am going to be so happy to have these guys lined up on my shelf. All right, as I've said, once you sort of figure out where all the tabs and tape are, this packaging is easier to open than you might think. Uh, you've got the trading cards are secured to the back here with a little blister. You just peel that right off, pop those trading cards out, and set them to the side for the needless giveaway, which is needless to have a name, really. All right, now we've, we're uh, kind of back to healthy amount of accessories with this guy. Well, I, that's not fair to say. I was uh, cuz Brody Lee yesterday feels sort of like he comes with a little less because he doesn't have an additional portrait uh and then no additional hands, but he does come with the TNT Championship and the two different uh papers. All right. So Stu Grayson looks awesome. I am this might actually be my favorite figure of this wave because First of all, this portrait is absolutely awesome. He's got the face paint, uh, like I said, sort of God of War inspired. Uh, he's got the thick beard, the teeth are gritted. Like, that likeness is awesome. He looks great. Uh, and then he's got his unique wrist tape covering deals going on here. Sculpted and painted. And then he's got uh, the tie on his arm up there, which is a separate little piece. And articulation-wise, I mean, I've, I've pretty much talked about the standard. Ooh, that shoulder is not moving. We're going to leave that alone. So we've got ratcheting shoulders, biceps, double-jointed. I mean, if you've seen one AEW figure, you know what the articulation is. And kind of the wild thing is, you can pop these guys apart. They are designed... Uh, to pop apart rather than breaking, which I think is awesome. Uh, so he's got his entrance gear on, this sort of battle skirt, very similar to what Kratos wears in God of War, and the detailing on it is fantastic. He's got the sort of double belt up top here, and see all of this sculpted and painted detail looks incredible. And going around to the back, just the different layers, the... Uh, the holes in this you can see those are actual holes going all the way through the plastic a really fantastic piece here I'm, I'm very impressed with this and the cool thing about it is red it looks like and i don't know this for sure yet but it looks like rather than having a fastening that would leave one part of it looking lumpy or bulky or whatever you can do what i just did pop that torso off and slide off that piece and yeah, look, this is all one piece. There's no fastening here. So this is where the design of AEW figures comes in and is brilliant because you don't have any clunky pegs or anything to deal with on this. You just slide it off uh, when you're ready to put him in the ring. That's fantastic. Uh, I love this crescent here that just, again, sculpted, painted, looks great. Uh, so let's get him battle ready. Pop that back together. Dude has an incredible physique, and it's represented here on the figure. Uh, he's got, you know, the really slim, ripped torso. Looks good. Uh, he's got the smaller... I think this needs to slide up just a little bit. There you go. He's got sort of the smaller 
uh, kilt or whatever type piece uh, around his waist that he wear or wore during that match. You see all of the detail on this one, little painted design, the rivets here on these hanging down parts and on his belt. Uh, just looks really, really cool. And then uh, he's got, you know, the smaller knee pads that on the double jointed knees, you can move those knee pads around as needed to get full access to those knee joints. Uh, he's got the sort of shorter boots, sculpted laces. Everything looks great on those boots. Uh, this is just an awesome, awesome figure. I, th I, I think I'm right. I believe this is my favorite figure from this set. And that's saying something with, so far, previous to him, Evil Uno, Anna J, and Mr. Brody Lee, who are all great figures in their own right. But there's just something about this Stu Grayson that really stands out to me. I think it's because he looks like he could go on the shelf with like Conan figures or something. So let's take a look at the rest of his accessories. He's got an alternate yelling head that looks so good, but I like this head with the gritted teeth so much. I don't know, you guys. These are both excellent portraits. Uh, standouts so far in, in AEW's releases, and that's saying something because... AEW has had some of the best portraits and toys since the line started. Uh, he's got the Dark Order hand, which we're going to put on him right now because all of my Dark Order figures are going to be giving the salute uh, and lined up on the shelf. And you can see uh, the same detail on the wrappings on those alternate hands. So we're going to put that up. And again, I'm, there we go. Got that shoulder joint to move. So that's great. Gosh, maybe I do want to put the other head on. I don't know. I like them both so much. All right. And uh, then we've got a closed fist and another closed fist. Very cool. But I think I'm going to leave this one just how it is. We're going to put that kilt back on because it looks so awesome. And uh, pop the torso on. And there we go. Uh, this this is an awesome. I'm gonna actually, you know what? I'm gonna put that closed fist on the other hand because that's just gonna look cooler standing there. Ah, uh, now the closed fists used from another figure clearly because they do not have the wrappings. But uh, you know what? I'm gonna give that a pass because you still got the great wrappings up here going on. Uh, and I just want let's see. So the yeah the this one does have the wrappings going all the way down. Uh, you know what? I got to leave this one on because that's just too cool a feature of the figure and too unique to him to not use. So we're just going to leave that hand on him. And there you go. Stu Grayson, awesome tough guy from the Dark Order. Uh, you guys, please like subscribe, share, tell your friends about Needless Things, watch AEW. If you haven't checked it out in a while, give it another chance. I, I'm the biggest fan. I'm really enjoying the product, and I'm a big fan of the Dark Order. So thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow for the last day of Dark Order Week here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Smash that like button if you like Needless Things.